Hello everyone, this is Team 7 Progress Update. Our name is Yeonje Kim, Kyuyeon Kim, and Hyungyeol Liu. This is the preview of our replication model. If we give train horn curry to the network, you can receive this image, which are likely to make this sound. Otherwise, if you give chainsaw image to the network, you can receive this audio which are likely to sound from the image. It means that the network can figure out correspondence between audio and image. The final goal is to find where the sound is from in the video utilizing this correspondence. This is the contents or of our presentation, introduction, replication, experiment result, and improvement. Up to now, people try to train machine learning models across various sources of data such as image, audio, and text, and we call this cross-modal learning. The famous example of cross-modal learning is image captioning. However, there are some limitations of existing works. They tend to use supervised learning or teacher-student supervision. The problem is it requires labeled data set. Our research question is self-supervised audiovisual learning for cross-modal retriever and sound source localization on image. Object that sound is the main paper we selected for the replication. There are two main goals in this paper. One is cross-modal retriever. For example, if we give audio sample query to the network, the AVE network can retrieve image which are likely to make this sound. The other one is sound source localization. The AVOL network can highlight the object that makes sound in the image. Our main job is to implement AVE net and AVOL net. For the improvement, we try to utilize a different object class that can be extended to real world application. Also, we will try different data configuration and analysis metrics. We use audio set and AVE data set as a data set. Let us summarize our goal. So our goal is to implement and train AVE net, the correspondence predicting and embedding network, and AVO net, the network that localizes the source of sound in the image. Next, these are the things that we have done so far. We first download a subset of audio set, which is 90,000 videos. Then we pre-process videos into images and spectrograms and implemented pipeline to feed them into the network. We finally, we finally implemented and trained AVE net and analyzed its qualitative performance. There are three big problems, problems we have faced during, the, during this process. First problem comes from obtaining video data. In this paper, author used 230,000 videos for training set, but our disk cannot handle that large amount of video. We solved this by using only the subset of data set that author used. The other problem is YouTube IP ban. When we constantly send requests to the YouTube server, that IP gets banned after a few hours. We solved this problem by giving some delay before downloading the next video. The next problem is about data feeding pipeline. Extracting image, image and spectrogram from raw videos while training time creates bottleneck. We solved this problem by pre-processing all videos into images and spectrogram so that it can be direct, directly used as input. The last problem we faced comes from training time. As the learning rate is not mentioned in the paper, we should find the proper learning rate. We found that e, one E-4 is not small enough. The model is trained well with smaller learning rate. The model does not fail to be trained after initializing the last fully connected layer with different methods. We will talk about this later on next slides. These are the base, basic settings for the training AVE net. We used the subset of the dataset that author used. We used batch size of 64 because of the GPU memory limitation. Authors used 2048 as the batch size by using 8 GPUs. Learning rate in IPOC is not stated in the paper, so we find our own. There are other two settings for training the model. The first is applying different initialization method on the last fully connected layer, as I mentioned before. As the last FC layer has only two parameters, which is very tiny compared to other layers. By assigning different sign values between each parameter, the model does not fail to be trained and converges faster. 
Next is variation on negative pair sampling method. There are two methods, strict and unstrict sampling method, and they are shown below. So these are four combinations that we can make with the settings on the previous slide. We trained our models with four different settings. The table shows the test accuracy of predicting the correspondence using unstrict negatives, which are harder negatives, show better test accuracy. This means that the model is able to generalize better by learning the harder negatives. Also with using different, also with using different initialization on the last fully connected layer, the model shows better accuracy. The paper says they have 81.9 accuracy. We think this difference comes from using the subset of data set and using different batch size. These are things we have done so far, and we will show some qualitative cross-model retrieval result from the next slide. There are some things remaining to do, such as training AD OLNet. How does our work can be applied to cross-model retrieval? Well, there are four main steps. First, input our data. In this work, our data is image and audio. Then, by using our deep neural network, we can make features or representations for whole image and audio data set. Next, by using this model, embed each of data into our embedding spaces. Finally, once we get a whole embedding data, calculating the Euclidean distance between each of data we want to know. After these sequences, we can find which of image or audio is most related to others. This is the result of our experiments. We experimented two types of cross-modal retrieval with test dataset. First one is audio to image retrieval. In this example, we can see the image of a child, but when we experiment, we only query on audio the trial singing, then we can get most related images in order. You can see the images that man or woman sing. In contrast, for image to audio, we query only one image, then with this, we can get clarinet, flute, cello, and so on. We also can listen to the audio, for example, for flute or cello. In addition, there are a lot of outcomes for our cross-modal experiments. In the picture, as you can see, the results are quite reasonable. This means that our neural network learns the relations between audio and image very well. And also, we have another two types of intra-modal retrieval. When we query an image, we can get the most related images, and for audio query, we can also get the similar good results. Next, we'd like to talk about the improvements. Again, at first, our team proposed an idea to use animal and human voice data for generalization since our target paper usually focuses on uh, musical instruments. However, after a proposal, we got a feedback that our idea cannot contribute to generalization. So we discussed this issue and we decided to additional data set, which is called AV data set. This has various general classes, so we think this will support our improvements. We first tested on the animal data. When we query a domestic animal or patch image, the results are good. And this is our new data, AV dataset results. The outcomes are also reasonable. Lastly, we'd like to talk about the plans of current and future improvements. Until now, we have implemented uh, existing work and used our de target data on animal class. Then we utilize a new dataset, AV dataset for getting more generalization. For the future, we plan to mainly do mainly do two things. First, we will try to increase the performance by applying data augmentation on image and spectrum. We think this can be a quite reasonable approach to, uh, to extract the feature of audio well. Second, ex existing work only used the end decision metric, but will another two metric, MAP and recall AK. Uh, these two metrics can be used for evaluating information retrieval and would outcome unexpected and interesting results. So applying this new metric could be a novel trial for analyzing the overall results. Thank you very much for your attention.